Hi everyone, welcome to this two-part video tutorial on how to sketch with Concepts, a drawing app that's available on iPad, Android as well as on Microsoft. Now this app is free with basic features, however to unlock all the features you do need to pay. So in this first video, I'm going to go through the user interface and in the second video, I'm going to sketch from start to finish to show you my workflow. Let's start out with some important things you need to know. So Concepts is actually a vector drawing app. That means um, you can actually zoom in all the way and the resolution of your artwork will still be very sharp, very detailed. You may see some texture here. These are actually textures that are applied onto the vector lines. So regardless of where you zoom, all these textures will be very detailed. So that is actually the main selling point of this um, app. All the files are saved onto the tablet. There is no cloud syncing. So that means if for some reason you need to delete the app, make sure you export the files onto the file system first. Otherwise, you're going to delete the app and the files along with that. So that obviously is going to be a disaster. And with iPad, unfortunately, the files that you export out, they cannot be opened on the Concepts app that's running on Windows. However, for Android, you can actually export the files out onto your Windows machine and you can continue working on your files on Windows. Hopefully, the developers can make the files that are created on the iPad editable on Windows as well because right now, the file extension for the files here, it's Concept and the file extension here for Android, it's Concepts. Concepts supports active styles such as the Apple Pencil or the Samsung S Pen, which means it supports pressure sensitivity as well as palm rejection. Now, if you are using a tablet or stylus that doesn't support pressure sensitivity, then there will be no pressure and there will be no palm rejection. However, you can still draw with Concepts, it's just that the lines, the thickness, you are not going to get any variation with the line thickness. Let's go through the user interface. Now the user interface on iPad and on Android, it's pretty similar. However, on Android, it's missing some features which I'm going to talk about in this uh, video later on. So this is the welcome screen and here you can create different projects. In each project, you can create multiple files. So let me just create a new drawing. This is the canvas. At the top left here, these are the tools you can select. These are actually customizable. So for example, if you want to have three pens, you can actually put three pens here. I have two pencils here and a chalk here. And this is the place where you can change the stroke just by swiping left or right with the stylus to change the thickness of the line. This is opacity or transparency and this here. This will allow you to uh, make your line smoother or straighter. I go with 0% or something very low so that the lines, they will follow exactly where the pen tip is. To change colors, you just have to tap here, this circle, and you see this fly out color palette. These are the colors you can select. These are actually from the Copic color system. To customize this palette here, you have to click and hold the button in the center. You can create your own palettes or you can choose one of the palettes that are already here. If you tap and hold onto the color palette here, you can see it becomes a gradient. For the layers palette, you can actually move this around by pressing and holding it down and just move it anywhere around the screen you want. Now this sorting, you can choose between automatic and manual. I highly recommend automatic because it will create layers depending on the tools that you use. So for example, now I'm going to choose a pen to draw with. Notice how it automatically switches to the pen layer. So now when I draw with the pen, the pen lines will only appear on the pen layer. And now I'm going to switch to drawing with a pencil and notice the layer automatically switch to pencil. And now when I color, when I color this, everything will go onto the pencils layer. And this is very nice because when I color, I like to use pencils. So I don't have to do the manual switching 
all this is done automatically and this is one of the main reasons why I like this app so much. Here's a closer look at the layers icon so you can turn the visibility on or off just by clicking the eye icon and if you click on the layer itself here you can select all the items on the layer you can lock the layer copy the objects on the layer trash the layer merge down or you can rename the layer and this is the transparency of the layer Another thing you can do with the layers is to quickly hide all the other elements on other layers. So for example here, I just want to focus on my line art. I can double click this layer here and the half tones, they will disappear because they are on another layer. And to bring everything back, just click again once. These are the tools that are free to use. You can choose pens, pencils, marker, watercolor, airbrush, fill and dotted lines and these are the selection tools. So you can choose one or many of these and put them in the tools palette and if you need additional drawing tools or brushes, um, these are well not free but many are actually quite good such as the splatter brush, um, pastels, pencils, additional pencils, additional pens, sprays, airbrush and a half tone. I bought all of them because um, these brushes they are really nice. So how do you buy the brushes or see what are the features you can buy? You see this word here pro just click on it and there are two ways to buy. One is through the monthly subscription service where you have access to all the features and tools the other is to go with the one-time purchase and just buy whatever tools that you need. So for me, the one-time purchase makes more sense. It's also cheaper because, well, it's a one-time purchase. So I bought the essential set and additional brushes. All the tools that you buy on the iPad, unfortunately, will only remain on the iPad. So if you are using concepts on Android and on Microsoft, you have to buy the tools again so that's um, quite unfortunate here at the bottom left we have this um, precision palette which allows you to turn the grid on and off allow for you to have snap options uh, measurement tools this is uh, what happens when you draw with the measurement tools you can see that measurement there and guide allows you to draw with guides like this at the top right here, you see export and import. So when you click export, um, you can export the file into certain file formats. However, to export the files into all the formats that are available, you have to pay. So um, I actually paid for all the file formats here. Let's take a look at import. So for import, you can import certain uh, predefined shapes or you can buy uh, symbols and import them. When you click on the settings icon at the top right you'll be brought to the settings page. All these are actually self-explanatory. I just want to talk about the art bot size. Now this is a vector app so it features an infinite art bot. However if you do want to have a fixed size art bot you can enter the dimensions here yourself and you can enter the units as well let's click here for the stylus so i'm using apple pencil there is pressure sensitivity and you can adjust the pressure levels here you can customize finger action so when your finger is on the display you can choose the type of action that can happen if you are using an active stylus like the apple pencil or s pen um, maybe you can choose pen canvas this allows you to move the canvas around without introducing stray strokes. If you are using those dumb rubber styluses, then maybe you can choose Use Active 2, which allows you to draw with those styluses. And you can customize the double click uh, functionality on the Apple Pencil. Here I changed it to Delete or Slice. And these are the other styluses that are supported by Concepts. Let's go into gestures. So for gestures, you can customize additional finger gestures. Uh, the important ones are here. 
So I can do a two finger tap on the canvas to undo. For three finger tap, I have it assigned to show the color wheel so that I can change colors very quickly. And for the four finger tap, I have it um, toggle the interface elements on or off. So you can see here, there are a lot of options you can choose to assign to two, three or four finger taps. To access the eyedropper or the color picker, you have to tap and hold onto the canvas until the eyedropper appears. So those are the important user interface elements you should know. Now if you are using Android, well some of the features are not available. More specifically, this color palette here, this is not available. And this precision option here, this is not available. And import symbols, it's not available. And if you want to export files, um, some of the file formats are not there with Android. Alright, so in the next video, we will draw and I'm going to show you why I love this app so much. See you in the next video. Bye!